Hey, I'm John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today, we're doing a review demo of the Replicator by T-Rex, handmade in Denmark. Uh, it's very cool what they're doing here because tape echoes are, you know, of course, that's how the whole echo thing started. Uh, first, you know, like kind of reverb rooms, halls, and things like that. And then people started using loops to uh, get a delay. And they were abandoned eventually because they're they're so unpredictable and they're expensive and they're hard to uh, maintain and all that but it's because they're so unpredictable that tape echo is awesome because you never get the same performance twice but what they've done is they've made a lot of improvements first they've made it smaller so you could actually fit this on a pedal board they've made it where it's easy and quick to replace the tapes the old ones are a bit of a mess and very hard to replace tapes on. But this is a quick unit you can switch in and out easily. And then they added some cool features like tap tempo and all these other things that I'll tell you about after I tell you about how we're recording this. Um, I'm just plugging my, uh, my 67 Telecaster right into it and then running out of that into a Fender Supersonic amp. I'll be going in and out of the clean and dirty channel and they're both in um, basically flat. We're micing it with a Royer R121 mic, and that's going into an Apache Quartet and into Pro Tools. Okay, let me bring you through the controls. We'll start with this right here, the Master Volume. The Master Volume actually gives you a nice little dB boost, something like 8 dB, which will give you a little bit of compression and maybe even boost you up to overdrive. Uh, let me set it on a real low, quick delay, and you can hear that kind of Scotty Moore vibe. Here's with it off. This gets back to... So you, so you get a little bit more. Pretty cool. Next we have Chorus, and what this does, it lets you control the depth of the flutter you're going to hear inherent in the tape. So let me play that for you a bit. To me it has almost kind of a Leslie vibe. That's with it off, and you can see I've got no reverb or anything. And here we go. How trippy hippie is that, right? Very cool. Next we have saturation. And saturation is going to control the, um, the amount of compression and grit on the delay. So if we crank that way up, you're going to hear a little bit more. I'll just, I'll play a little bit and see what it does. <laughs> So that's a cool option to have. I think it kind of, it gets a little bit away from you when you crank it all the way up, but that's part of the charm. Uh, over here is delay level. Um, when it's all the way up, 
it will be equal, the delay will be the same as the, as the un, uh, same volume as your, your clean signal note. But it's a little deceiving because although that will be, the delay itself will be, will be the same volume, your repeats, because it's taped, just get louder and louder. So you get the idea. Speaking of feedback, here's our knob that controls that. And feedback is, is probably the most expressive and dangerous part of this because as it gets, as it keeps feeding back, it gets bigger and bigger and can get really loud. Uh, and because controlling with your finger on the fly on a knob is tough to do, they have a, a feedback out that can go to an expression pedal. So I'm using this with it and allowing me to add and subtract as needed. Now it can still kind of get away from you, but I'll show you the basics there. And the last bit is delay time. Now here's an interesting bit. You've got delay time and control right there. And as you saw, it's really fun to just spin that as you're going to get into crazy space noises. And you can kind of tune it on the fly, which is very cool. You can kind of hear where it's getting back to the tonic or whatever. Uh, so that's a fun feature to be able to do that on the fly. But um, they offer more options as well. You could hit, uh, put an expression pedal on to control the speed as well and do that with your foot uh, so you can leave your hands free, which is a great option. And just to be super redundant, there's also a tap tempo that lets you control the speed as well. So there's tons of options for that. So you can sync it right up. Now down here we have on and off, obviously. And here you have um, uh, the head control, which gives you two different heads for three different options. There's three, the first one, green is a long kind of quarter thing. I'll show you. Now, if you flip it one more to red, it cuts that in, in half, which is great. The, the one thing I would have liked to have changed, I'd like to have the shorter one, the first one you hit, and the longer one, the second one, but that's just me. I don't know, I like the order. The, uh, and the final option is this one, which gives you both heads together. And that gets it to real madness because then you're hearing the long and the short together. So, so far I've just been using the clean channel, but let me put on the dirty channel and you can really hear where it goes crazy. Because as you add that dirt, that delay just becomes more intense. So let's see what happens. <laughs>
So if you're into experimental weird stuff, that's really fun. The great thing about this is, particularly in a, uh, in a studio application, you can get all these crazy, crazy sounds that you just, I don't know how else you could get them. So it's a fun, fun tool. So those are the basics of the Replicator by T-Rex. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook. Subcri subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're subscribing to stuff, subscribe to the hard copy of the magazine. Have it brought right to your house. Read it wherever you like. It's John Bollinger. Till next time. Don't forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.